the year 2020 is about to end but before that we have a solar eclipse awaiting for us hello everyone and welcome to astro roxy this solar eclipse will happen on 14th december it will be visible from chile and argentina also it will be partially visible from southwest africa south america and even antarctica now a solar eclipse happens twice in any given year although it can reach up to like seven times in a single year but that's very rare it occurs when the moon passes between earth and the sun thereby totally or partially blocking the sun for us and turning the day into darkness totality occurs only on a narrow path across the earth's surface with the partial solar eclipse visible over the surrounding area. Now, it's not a rare event, but the path of totality is always different. So one has to wait for many years before they get lucky again. When you hear the term solar eclipse, what comes to your mind? It can be filled with curiosity, but you can also be filled with a lot of fear because of the superstitions that go around us, even today. Usually on solar eclipse, the pregnant women and the children, they're not allowed to go outside and look the solar eclipse. And in India, we do not eat food and some people even fast on a solar eclipse because the food is poisonous and you know, it can harm our body and all the other superstitions attached to it. There's no evidence that solar eclipse can harm our body, our mind, our behavior, anything like that. Although. Astronomers do say they do not look at the sun directly. The reason is simple. On any other day else than a solar eclipse, would you be looking at the sun directly without anything at all? The pupils in our eyes are more or less closed when it's a bright sunny day. Compared to nighttime, when they are dilated so that they can absorb more and more light. Now, during a total solar eclipse, when moon covers up the sun and it's a totality, it's actually safe to look at the sun with naked eyes. The problem arises when the moon starts to move away. A tiny portion of the sun will be visible to your eyes, which are still dilated and they are very vulnerable. And the sun rays will be hitting your eyes before there is time to react, before your reflexes turn on, before a signal can go into your brain and your eyes closes. It's already too late and the sunlight has affected your retina, your eyes are permanently damaged and that is why it's not safe to look at the sun. There are some misconceptions that during a solar eclipse the UV radiation increases but that's not really the case. It's just that the sun is so bright and so powerful that you may not be able to protect your eyes if you're looking at the solar eclipse with naked eyes. Now that we have gotten rid of all the misconceptions, let me call my friend Neba to tell us how exactly we can see a solar eclipse safely. Hey Roxy, I'm so glad you asked. The best way is to use glasses, solar eclipse glasses to be precise. Regular sunglasses like these, they just scatter light. These can't protect your eyes if you're looking directly at the sun, whether it's a solar eclipse or not. The sun actually emits ultraviolet rays, which is the light that causes cataracts and immediate retina damage. So while sunglasses can block a lot of UV light, they can't block all of it. Since regular glasses won't work, we'll need something special. You might be able to get your hands on solar eclipse glasses, which are 100,000 times darker than regular sunglasses, and they block all UV light and nearly all visible light. But if you don't have access to these, or you don't want to spend the money, or you want to be a bit more sustainable, or you just want to make your own, I'll show you how to make your own device at home. Eclipse glasses filter out the light by being just really, really dark. Instead, what we'll be doing is projecting the image of the sun onto another surface. So we'll be looking actually at a reflected image and not directly at the sun. All you need is a small box, piece of aluminum foil, tape, and a small nail or pushpin. I've made the box a bit cuter, then trace the bottom of the box on a white piece of paper. Cut out this traced rectangle from the paper and put it in the bottom of the opened box. This will be your viewing screen. Then cut out two squares, about one and a half inches, on the lid of the box and tape one square with foil. Then you'll make a small hole in this, and this will be your lens. I used a paper clip, but you can use anything, like a thumbtack or a needle, and make a small hole. The smaller your hole, the sharper your projected image will be. The light travels through the pinhole onto the white screen, and you can look through this side. I tested it out first with my phone flashlight and then realized I should just go outside and test it out. Since the sun is full right now, it just looks like a circle, but during an eclipse, this circle will be partially blocked by the moon and look like this. 
And so that's how you can look at a solar eclipse safely. Yeah. Thank you so much for explaining that. Neva is a multimedia science communicator from California. She has a YouTube channel uh, called Knots by Neva. And she has a whole lot of things there. So where can viewers find more about that? Yeah, well, thanks for having me. Uh, my channel explores the science of beauty and fashion and skincare all over at Notes by Neva. I also have a website, notesbyneva.com, and I also have my Instagram at Notes by Neva. You guys can click any one of these things to find out more. Yes, so just check out Notes by Neva, just like I have Astro Roxy everywhere. You can easily find her by Notes by Neva and uh, you know more on these things later. So for now, I hope you guys like this video, enjoyed this video. And if you guys haven't subscribed, please do because even my Naruto says so. So thanks for tuning in and bye-bye.